All right, folks. So what are we going to talk about in today's presentation? Well, we'll discuss what is the significance of profit and loss statement for a business. So let's get started. A profit and loss statement, also called p and is an income statement. It's a crucial financial document for any business. It summarizes the revenues, costs, and expenses incurred during a specific period, typically a fiscal quarter or a year. So here is the significance of a P&L statement for a business. Number one, performance evaluation, profitability analysis. The P&L statement shows whether the business is generating a profit or a loss. It provides a clear picture of the financial performance over a specific period. Revenue and expense breakdown. It details various revenue streams and categorizes expenses, allowing management to understand which areas are performing well and which need improvement. Number two, decision-making tool. Operational decisions. By analyzing the income and expenses, businesses can make informed decisions about where to cut costs, where to invest more, and which products or services are most profitable. Strategic planning. The PML statement helps in strategic planning by identifying trends in revenue and expenses. This information is crucial for setting future goals and budgets. Number three, financial health indicator, profit margins. It provides insight into profit margins, helping businesses understand the profitability of their operations. High level metrics like gross profit, operating profit and net profit margins can be analyzed. Financial ratios. Key financial ratios such as the operating margin and net profit margin can be derived from the P&L statement to assess financial health and operational efficiency. Number four, budgeting and forecasting. Historical data. Historical P&L statements provide valuable data for creating budgets and financial forecasts. They help predict future revenues and expenses based on past performance. Variance analysis. Comparing actual results against budgets and forecasts helps in identifying variances and understanding the reasons behind them. Number five, external reporting and compliance. Stakeholder communication. Investors, lenders, and other stakeholders use the P&L statement to assess the financial health and performance of the business. It is often required in loan applications and investor reports. Regulatory compliance. Accurate and timely P&L statements are essential for meeting regulatory requirements and filing tax returns. Number six, funding and investment. Attracting investors. Potential investors scrutinize P&L statements to gauge the viability and profitability of the business. A strong P&L can attract investment by demonstrating the business's earning potential. Loan approvals. Lenders Evaluate the P&L statement to determine the business's ability to generate enough revenue to repay loans. It's a key document in loan approval processes. Number seven, identifying trends and opportunities. Revenue trends. By examining the revenue sections, businesses can identify trends such as seasonal variations or growth patterns in sales. 
cost management. Understanding expense patterns helps in identifying areas where costs can be controlled or reduced, leading to better overall financial management. Number eight, employee performance and incentives. Performance measurement. The PNL statement can be used to measure departmental or individual performance, linking financial outcomes to specific teams or projects. Incentive programs. Businesses can develop employee incentive programs based on financial performance metrics, derived from the PNL statement. Let's talk about some components of a profit and loss statement. Revenue or sales. Total income from goods sold or services provided. Cost of goods sold, COGS for short. Direct costs attributable to production of the goods sold. Gross profit. Revenue minus the COGS will give you the gross profit. Operating expenses. Costs that are related to the normal business operations, such as salaries, rent, and utilities. Operating income. This you get by subtracting operating expenses from gross profit. Other income and expenses includes non-operating income and expenses like interest and taxes. Net income. Operating income minus other expenses or plus other income. This is the final profit or loss for the period. So here's the conclusion. The profit and loss statement is vital for both internal and external purposes. Internally, it helps management make informed decisions, plan strategically, and evaluate performance. Externally, it demonstrates the financial viability of the business to investors, lenders, and regulatory bodies. Therefore, maintaining accurate and comprehensive p &L statements is essential for the success and sustainability of any business. So here's a question for you folks. Are you ready to turn your business dreams into reality? Our comprehensive course, step-by-step -step guide to starting your own business, is designed to help you navigate the journey with confidence. Whether you are just brainstorming ideas or ready to launch, this guide provides practical insights and actionable steps every stage of your entrepreneurial journey. Visit our website to learn more and start your adventure today. Your future business is just a click away. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest content. Your support helps us bring more valuable insights to you promptly. Thank you for being a part of our community.